Hello, this is Andrew Joseph Weber, and this is Sana Ol, engineer. I hope everybody is okay because we're going to continue our discussion with research methodology and introduction. Let's begin with significance of research. What are the significance of research? Research inculcates scientific and inductive thinking, and it promotes, of course, the development of a logical habit of thinking and organization. That's our first significance. I suppose to have a sense in what you do or in what you say or claim to know or to be true cannot be emphasized enough. And it's a habit. And research can help you in having that habit. Next. Research provides the basis for nearly all governmental policies in our economic system. For example, the budget of our government partly rests on the analysis of the needs and desires of the people and on the availability of revenues to meet those needs. For example, the cost of needs has to be equated to probable revenues and this is where research is mostly needed. Through research, we can propose alternative policies and can also examine the consequences of each of these alternatives. Decision-making, although may not be part of the research, but research certainly facilitates the decision process. It facilitates policies of the government and their decisions should be evidenced or data-driven. Most of these decisions will be related directly or indirectly to economic conditions, for example, the plight of cultivators, the problems of big and small business and industry, working conditions, trade unions, activities, the problems of the distribution, demand, supply, even the size and nature of defense services are matters that require research. Therefore, research is considered necessary with regard to the allocation of the nation's resources. Research is quite important with regards to how do we distribute or allocate the resources of our nation. Another area in government where research is quite necessary is collecting information on the economic and social structure of the nation. Such information would indicate what is happening in the economy and what changes are taking place. So just remember that you have limited resources and you have to be wise in its distribution. And that's also applicable to individual level. Next, research has its special significance in solving various operational and planning problems of business and industry. Of course, it's quite important in industry and businesses for higher gain and productivity and to improve the quality of, of their products, correct? One objective of business and industry that always stand out is how to maximize profit and how to minimize the cost. There are many types of research that can deliver this objective. For, ex for instance, market research investigates the structure and the development of a market. Operations research, research to the application of mathematical, logical, and analytical techniques to the solution of business problems. Actually, we have operations research as a subject. Another one, motivational research. It determines why people behave in relation to consumer behavior. All these are of great help to people in business and industry who are responsible for taking business decisions, such as budgeting, projected project and lost account, sales forecasting, efficient production and investment programs. Therefore, research replaces the intuitive business decisions by more logical and scientific decisions. Next, research is equally important to study the natural and the social world. It cannot be emphasized enough that tremendous progress in understanding of the natural world greatly improves the lives of of millions in every aspect of life, in health and medicine, in education, transportation and communication, and access to basic necessities. Social research helps find answers to social problems. They explain various social phenomena and 
they try to seek solution to those social problems. And the last will be, it is necessary to advance the frontier of knowledge. It is the fountain of knowledge and it provides guidelines for solving different problems. So, in addition to what has been discussed, the significance of research can also be understood from the point of view of the following points. To those students who are to write their master's or PhD thesis, research may mean a career or a way to attain a high position in the social structure. To professionals in research methodology, research career or research may mean a source of livelihood. To philosophers and thinkers, research may mean the outlet for a new ideas and insights. To literary men and women, research may mean the development of new styles and creative work. And the last, to the analysts and intellectuals, research may mean the generalizations of new theories. So, to summarize, research is the fountain of knowledge for the sake of knowledge and is an important source of providing guidelines for solving different businesses, governmental, and societal problems. It is also a sort of formal training which enables one to understand the new developments in one's field. Okay, so that's all for the significance of research.